This is the Transformers Legacy Wreck and Rule uh, from the two pack with G2 Leadfoot. We have the Fossilizer Master Dominus, the latest recruit to the Wreckers uh, in this whole Legacy line. Uh, the Wreck and Rule uh, sets are part of an Amazon exclusive line from this new Transformers Legacy. Uh, subline of Wreck and Rule. Now, if you haven't seen my video review of G2 Leadfoot, the figure that comes with this guy, go check it out on my channel. But for this video, we will be focusing solely on Master Dominus. The figure looks great at first glance. You can clearly see how premium uh, this figure feels with this matte black finish, some gold highlights right here, a little bit of gold plastic, yellow, yellowy mustard gold plastic, some red highlights, and the gray plastic on this one is so premium. I don't know how to describe it. It feels like fossilized bones uh, with some silver highlights. This is probably the most premium looking fossilizer uh, figure uh, from the Generations line that I've seen Hasbro uh, dish out. Let's take a closer look at the details of uh, this figure. The Mastodon Bones uh, Skeleton Mode is probably the better of the two uh, modes for this figure. I'll show off the, the uh, robot mode later on, but he actually looks more like a dog like a prehistoric dog than a mastodon. Maybe if I just uh, square him off uh, the limbs and maybe he'll look more like an elephant or a prehistoric elephant if, if we do it this way. But just looking at the bones, it kind of feels more like a, a dog or, or, or a, yeah, or a saber-toothed dog. <laughs> I don't know, uh, rather than a mastodon. But the mastodon or the woolly mammoth I should say Mastodon or Woolly Mammoth had, had a big, big torso, and if you take off all the fat and the muscles of that animal, you're left with bones. And I guess this is pretty spot on accurate. Also, the, this beautiful head sculpt that Hasbro's done with it is uh, it's giving me a lot of uh, xenomorph vibes. You know that movie Alien? For those of you who are <laughs> uh, young enough or old enough to remember that movie. It, it looks like a xenomorph at certain angles, especially this mandible, the, the teeth just looks amazing. But sadly, even in uh, dino bone or skeleton mode, it, it, sti it still feels kind of flimsy for me. It's not as solid as I wanted it to be. I was very optimistic with this figure when it was uh, first revealed, some promo shots and all that. I thought it was gonna be a very, very solid skeleton, but it's looking to be, well, it's not as loose as some of the other ones that we've seen uh, previously, uh, Spindle for that matter. It, it's a little more solid than that, but I just feel they could have done a little bit more uh, in, in solidifying uh, the alt mode, or at least the, the, the dino bone mode. Uh, the waist does have a hinge right here. You can also move it up and down. The hips go in and out, forward and backward. You got thigh swivel, hinge knees. You got the ankle rockers. These are the same articulation in robot mode. Front legs, you can swivel forward, backward. You got a bicep swivel right here. Elbow, double jointed elbows. Uh, sadly, no fists. We'll see later in, in alt mode. Uh, in robot mode. And in the head, very loose joints right here. Uh, maybe it's just a quality issue, maybe it's more of my usual bad luck with Hasbro uh, quality control. But, you know, despite that, I, I just feel there could have been a little bit more engineering done to make it a little bit more solid. Okay, now if you want to transform him into robot mode, the first thing you want to do is you want to get yourself a handy hammer and you want to start hitting... I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> you don't want to do that. You just want to take off the bits uh, <laughs> like that. And uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> sorry. Okay, so this is the head. This one, oh, this one forms a really cool looking shoulder, if you ask me, with the skull on, on, on his shoulder. Oh wow, that looks pretty good. Okay, so well, the front legs becomes uh, the arm. And again, no fists, you just have pegs and stumps uh, for his hand. That kind of sucks. I wish they could have molded just sort of a pseudo fist right here. Anyway, um, so you remove this pelvic 
piece, the waist piece right here, put it right here, and it forms the legs. And I guess the hind part of the mastodon or the mammoth forms the other shoulder like this. And again, the other leg will form uh, the other arm. So <laughs> in robot mode, this is what it looks like. Uh, the tusks do form like a wolverine claw. Uh, you just plug it in right here and you go cha, cha, cha. In essence, this figure should look awesome. Uh, on paper, I, I, look at it. It's got the xenomorph feel to it. You've got all the bones as part of the shoulders. You got a really nice rib cage right here. You got this really nice gold piece right here. It feels like the front part of a triceratops. You got the Wreckers uh, faction symbol right there done in teal, metallic teal, bluish green. Uh, but it somehow doesn't feel all that great. I love the head sculpt. I love the colors. Uh, but in robot mode, he, again, feels very lanky, very flimsy. The arms are just ridiculous. They should have, they could have given us an extra piece that would act as a fist, but they didn't. So he's got four feet instead of two feet and, and, and two arms. So, yeah. Okay, and here's the reveal for the head sculpt. You flip open this uh, mask and we'll reveal his eyes. Master Dominus! Wow, he looks really fantastic, that head sculpt. That's probably the best thing going for uh, this guy in robot mode, because in alt mode, the, the skull of that Mastodon is just, is just amazing. But here, everything is just kind of flimsy, and that head sculpt is the one that's going for it. It's gonna be the same as what you've experienced in Mastodon mode. You can go in and out, forward and backward. You got all the hinges here on the arms, all the hinges here on the legs, same as in uh, skeleton, uh, dino, dino bone mode. The uh, chest can go this way and that way. The uh, head can go this and that on a ball joint. Also, uh, if you want to turn him into a weapon, you can fold down uh, this piece right here, and you can probably turn him into some crazy, crazy looking weapon, which you can obviously attach to any of your transformers. So he could form like a huge. <laughs> I know, I know, skeleton weapon. I mean, I'm not, honestly, I'm not really crazy about this whole combiner gimmick or modular gimmick for these bones. Uh, honestly, I've been, I would really have been happy and okay with just a skeleton transformer, a dino skeleton transformer, transforming to a robot and a dino skeleton without all those gimmicks. They could have removed all those gimmicks and probably given us a more solid skeleton mode or robot mode, but... Uh, yeah, it, it's just, <laughs> it just, I, I don't know, to this day, I, I feel uh, this gimmick is still kind of corny. And so some final thoughts on this new wreck and rule, a master dominus figure. The figure had a lot of potential. The plastic quality is fantastic. I love the paint scheme. I love the black and gold and gray uh, color schematic of this figure. The head sculpt is fantastic, both in robot mode and that the bones of the mastodon or mammoth head sculpt, just spectacular. But sadly, on paper, it looks amazing, but in execution, it just leaves a lot to be desired. Uh, the gimmick kind of works, but it's still as flimsy and not as solid as a lot of the fossilizers we've seen. And there's just something not satisfying about the figure, despite all the good elements. It's like when you're trying to make a soup or a dish, when you put all the right expensive and premium ingredients, you put truffle, you put some brisket, you put some uh, good fresh vegetables and all that, but somehow when you mix everything together, it just doesn't turn out great. So that's how I feel about this figure. I don't know, man. Um, I'm, I've still yet to find the fossilizer that will really do it for me. But I mean, I'm trying to be optimistic. I mean, I'm trying to give these fossilizers a chance, but uh, it's just not as satisfying as I thought they would be. Master Dominus is going to get a 6 out of 10. Um, I want to give it an 8, but I just can't. So 6, maybe 6.5 out of 10. 
Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this new Wreck and Rule uh, Master Dominus Fossilizer. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, Master Dominus, you're gonna hit it.